This is a tutorial on the Align With and Exclude Images options in Starry Landscape Stacker version 1.9. I've got a set of 10 images, I believe, here that I'm going to load. These images were taken by Adam Woodworth, and he's been nice enough to let me use them for illustrating Starry Landscape Stacker. You can find a link to Adam's website at the end of this video. So here we are. I get over these two dots in the foreground, otherwise the red dots are very well placed. Uh, of course, the dots in the foreground are in the reflection, so it's no surprise that there are some dots there. There's our mask. And now we want to talk about the Align With option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in over here, and I'm going to hide the mask. And let's watch, let's zoom in some more. We'll watch this bright dot star here. Uh, let me make my cursor a little bit smaller. That star. And let's say I want to put it right in the middle between these two trees. Now this of course is a contrived example. Typically uh, what you'll have is some bright point in the sky that you want to align with uh, a church steeple or a tall tree, uh, a mountain peak, something like that. I don't have any examples of that, but I do have this sample. I can say, okay, let's say I want to put that star right between these two trees. That looks pretty good. So now I can say align with, and currently it's up to align with the image which is centered in time between the first and the last. And what I'm gonna do is just say align to current image. I've been changing the images that we've been looking at with the arrow keys. I could have done it with the, uh, oh, they're off the bottom here, the, the next and previous buttons. Uh, let me make sure I'm on the right, that one there. It looks like what I want. So I can say align to current image, uh, that becomes the target for alignment, uh, the image 38. And we can say align and composite. And there we are. We have the low noise image with the star pretty much centered between these two trees. Now I want to show you one more thing, which is the exclude images option. We can choose to leave out certain images. If say, uh, after we get started, we said, oh no, I, I don't like that image because there's a car going through it or something went wrong, you know, a, a, a bug flew across the front of the lens. So you can, as you're going through your images, you could say, oh, well, you know, that image, there's something wrong with it. I don't like it. I don't want it included. So you can hit the exclude button here. You'll put it back with the include. Uh, one of the things you can do is hold the option key down and now you can exclude everything and uh, all of a sudden the align and composite control here went away because we're not allowed to align and composite when everything is excluded. And we can see that here, all of the file names have a line through them. So we can come back up, uh, escape, come up here, include everything. And now we're allowed to align and composite again, but we're not excluding this image. So there we go, we'll exclude it. So we've left out one image, which happens to be the one we're aligning to which is sort of an interesting idea. And now we can say align and composite. We're going to uh, align and composite all the images except the one that we're aligning to, and we're allowed to do that. Uh, typically though, of course, it'll just be some other random image we're leaving out. So there we are. So that's align with, so you can uh, put a star or some other bright object exactly where you want, in this case between two trees, which of course is silly, but at the top of a church steeple, the top of a mountain peak. And we can, if we want, exclude specific images from the composition. Again, the images are courtesy of Adam Woodworth, and here's a link to his website. And for more information on Starry Landscape Stacker, you can go here.